Hi, and welcome to this short guide on how to install X-Plane 11 Standalone Edition for Windows 10. Hopefully you've received your email from Laminar Research with your download link and your key code. Go ahead and click on the download link and that should take you to the page we're looking at right now. Then go to Download for Windows and click on that. I'm going to right click and choose Save Link As because I want to save the file along with my other X-Plane files. Okay, that's finished. So do show and folder. And I'll open that to see what's inside. So it's just the install executable. So I'm going to copy that and paste it into the parent directory. Then I'm going to right click it and run as administrator. And this window will pop up. In my case, I've already got a Steam version installed, but I believe up here, for most people, will be install explain now. Uh, perhaps it's here. You should be able to see it. I'm going to click install the second copy. My key code here is blurred out, but that's where you will paste yours in. You should be able to copy and paste the entire thing in one go. Once you've done that, uh, click continue, and as long as you've got an internet connection, uh, should contact the laminar servers, verify your copy, then choose where you want to install Xplain. I want it on my PCIe SSD. Go there and hit OK. And it's going to put it in a folder called Xplain 11. Click Continue. I have already read the uh, terms of the user agreement and agree to those. Uh, and I don't mind sending diagnostic and usage data to Laminar, but if you don't want to do that, untick the box, and that's uh, not going to penalize you in any way. So I'll click continue. And now on this screen, uh, we choose which bits of available territory we want to install. We could install the entire world by clicking select all. Uh, you could also select none and just use the little tiny demo area, which I believe is around Seattle. And you can also click on individual regions uh, that you're interested in flying around and then click on them again to remove them. I have plenty of space, so I'm going to select all and hit continue. It then gives me a warning that this may take a long time to complete and will require quite a bit of space. That's fine, I expect that. So I'll click continue install. And then this bar at the bottom will gradually fill up with blue, and that's the overall progress bar. I will not make people wait while it does all that. So X-Plane has finished installing, and that's the end of the installation process. You can choose to run X-Plane now, but I'm not going to do that. I will show the setup and configuration in another video. Thanks for watching. I hope that's helpful to someone.